In this session, we're going to talk about ecological succession. Ecological succession is the process of how a forest grows. The process begins when we start out with something catastrophic that happens to the ecosystem. It could be a forest fire. In this case, a forest fire is, is destroying this ecosystem, leaving it barren. Uh, the, even the, the soil has been burned up and everything that's in the soil, the nutrients have, have been destroyed. A few years ago, I was hiking in uh, Montana and we came across a rock slide area. So this rocks uh, had, had come down in a rock slide and there was hardly any signs of life for where this rock slide had come down. But you could start to see that ecological, ecological succession was taking place. The first step in ecological succession is you're going to get some uh, the, what we call pioneer organisms. Those are the organisms that are the first to move in. So a pioneer organism. You think of it just like the uh, pioneers coming out west. So right here we have an organism called a lichen. And it's actually technically two organisms. What we have here is we have an algae and we have a bacteria that work together. The algae are able to undergo photosynthesis and the bacteria are able to provide nitrogen. So since there's no soil, the algae wouldn't be able to get the nitrogen that they need to survive. And without uh, being able to produce their own energy, without being autotrophs, the bacteria would not be able to undergo photosynthesis to get food. So these two uh, organisms work together in something that we know as lichens. When we have two organisms working together, this is an example of a symbiotic relationship called mutualism. Lichens can grow on anything. You often see them growing on rocks or on bark. Uh, they don't need any nutrients whatsoever. But as the lichens grow, we start to see that the, the lichens will grow and die. And as they decompose, they provide just a small amount of soil for some slightly larger organisms like this moss. This moss is growing on areas where lichen had previously grown. And it, as we uh, move through the moss and the moss decomposes, it provides even more soil. And we start to see some small plants. And these small plants are able to survive on the soil that this moss has provided. With more and more soil, we start to see larger and larger and larger uh, trees and, uh, and brush than trees able to grow. Until finally, we're able to move all the way back to a full growth forest. First with very fast growing trees like birch trees and maple trees and pine trees. Until ultimately, we reach the pinnacle. Uh, what we have here is an old growth forest with hardwood trees. This forest is ripe for returning right back to the beginning where we started, where we end up with another forest fire. So to summarize, ecological succession begins with exposed rocks. This happens from some sort of catastrophic event in the ecosystem. It could be a forest fire, a landslide, a volcanic eruption. With time, lichens, which are able to grow without any soil whatsoever, begin to move in. These are a pioneer species. When the pioneer species die, and are decomposed, they leave behind a small amount of soil. As more and more soil is left, larger and larger plants are able to grow. Until finally, you can get a young forest, and as that young forest dies and continues to leave behind more and more and more soil, you can move on to larger and larger forests, until ultimately, you end up with a climax community or a climax forest. Once you have a climax forest and it's grown to its fullest potential, it's ripe once again for a forest fire, another catastrophic event.